one of the assignments you need to finish before the holiday begins is you need to update 2024 investment incentive assignment. You're going to need to put information in for row six. Some of you never finished row five. We'll talk about that at the end. Note here, don't copy my numbers, copy my process. You're looking at information on a different day than when I'm looking at it right now. So you're going to put the date in. You're going to have either 1217, 1218, or if you're doing it later, uh, different dates for that. So the day that you're looking up the information, then reminder how to look this up. You're going to search the words ticker, T-I-C-K-E-R, and the letters at the top and you will get as of the close December 15th whatever day you have you will get a number that is the value of one share 9183 and you're gonna multiply that number times how many shares do we have so for Cree we have three shares 9183 times 3 for a total of 279.49. Repeat that process with all of the companies. Let's look at this one that keeps going down solely. Ticker S O L Y. Is one share is worth eight dollars seventy nine cents. We have twenty eight of those shares, so twenty eight times eight seventy nine two hundred forty six dollars twelve cents. All right, it's still down from where we bought it, but it's starting to come back up, which is a good thing. Let me check one more, just so once again you see the process. You always have to have the word ticker before you put the ticker symbol. If you just search HBP by itself, you'll come up with high blood pressure. As soon as you put in ticker, It'll bring you our company. $3.53. We have 73 shares. 73 times $3.53 per share. $257.69. Okay, this has gone down from where it was last month, but it's still up from where we bought it. So, you're going to fill out that whole row. Any of the items that have gone up compared to the blue line where we bought it at, you're going to you're going to make them green. Green is good. It means it's worth more than what we paid for it. Any of them that are down from what we paid for it, you're going to make red. Red is bad. It's it means we lost money so far on the deal. And then, of course, after you get all eight of your numbers filled in, you're going to sum them up and get the new total. Hopefully, it's above what we bought it. The higher this total is, the more value to your graduation gift if you meet all the requirements to graduate in 2024. Two different groups of people. Quick note, if you did the first investment incentive assignment, Last time I had you look up company information. Do you need to do that part again? Of course not. Same companies. Their information isn't changing that much. Okay? Now, the only thing, when we do updates from here on out, the only thing you need is to look up the ticker symbols, the prices, calculate what the value is. We're only looking up numbers from here on out. For my people that did not do the original investment assignment, in order to catch up, you're going to need to do two lines of numbers and you're going to need to look up company information. You can look back at the old video to see how to look up company information. This is going to be the thing though, okay? You have to give at least one week 
at least one week between looking up numbers and then looking up numbers again. All right? So you can't go back to November and find those numbers. If you're doing this for the first time, December 17th or December 18th, that's fine. If you want to go back and get your old points from November, you're going to need to wait till a little bit after Christmas. Look up numbers again to get a sixth row. And then I'll go back and give your points for missing out on the original assignment, assuming that you also do the lookup company information. And again, there's a video on that that got posted last month because that's when you were supposed to do the original assignment.